That's the stuff. Uh, pretty much everything has changed these days, of course, but we still have our old friend, the wine bottle. Yes, this week, Sacramento is celebrating all the great wineries in our region. So, John is with the co founder of River City Wine Week to talk about this year's Corona Modified event. Yes, that is right, guys. Wine really has been the MVP of the quarantine, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, Carrie Boyle is joining us live via Zoom this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, everyone. So uh, explain for us, for folks that don't know, what is River City Wine Week? What goes on? So River City Wine Week, we started it last year as a celebration of all things wine in and around Sacramento. Um, you know, there was a lot of focus on craft cocktail and craft beer, and we thought it was time to put wine back in the spotlight. So we started it last year with lots and lots of in-person events, and obviously as we are in 2020, we had to change things up a little bit. So um, we still have events going on and we have a couple of really cool virtual events that um, are coming and are gonna be free for anybody who wants to participate. But it's, it's morphed into not just celebrating all things wine, but we wanna elevate the visibility of the local wine regions and mm -hmm. really put Sacramento on the map as a wine destination for people here and people from outside the area. And I don't think we, we talk about ourselves that way, so. I feel like even before I moved here that I had kind of started to hear about the Sacramento area wineries. Is that just me or is this area starting to get more recognition in our wines? I think that we're starting to get more recognition, but we, I think we still deserve more. We mm. have over 200 wineries within about an hour drive uh, from Sacramento, and of course, you know, Napa and Sonoma are not that far either. And um, so we want people to talk about it more. And when your wine loving friend on the East Coast says, Where should I visit? I want to take a wine vacation. We want everybody to say Sacramento. So let's talk about some of the events you guys do have going on. What can people do now through the weekend that's part of the River City Wine Week? So you, um, I'll say first, you can go to our website and see some of the events that are happening at local wineries. Um, there's a lot of things like food trucks paired with wine and music. Um, there is a cool, um, a, a cool excursion that you can do through NorCal Trippin and Sac Brewboat, where they're doing a blind wine tasting cruise. That's also on our website. Oh. But the two big ones that we're really excited about um, that we're producing ourselves are Sack Sips Local and Pop and Pour. So Sack Sips Local is going to start this Friday and it'll uh, happen the first Friday of every month. And as you can get, it's hard to say fast, but <laughs> yeah. Sack Sips Local. So on Fridays, the first Friday of every month, we want people to buy, open and drink local wine, and then take a picture of whatever that. you're doing <laughs> while you're enjoying that wine and hashtag it sex, sex it's local yeah. on social media. So that's the first one on Friday, obviously free. You just have to get your bottle of wine and uh -huh. pull it out. of. And then quickly run, running out of time, what's the digital event, the pop and pour too? What it was that? The pop and pour wine festival is on Sunday from four to six. It is free. All you have to do is register via Instagram, our website or Facebook, we have um, we have tasting with Tom, a cooking demo with the Last Supper Society, a winemaker panel, wine trivia, and live music from Clement Charles. And everybody who registers, which is free again, um, is entered to win a two night stay at Bed and Berries, which is a bed and breakfast of oh, the plate. Very cool. Well, the website is rivercitywineweek.com. Carrie Boyle, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Really, wine is the MVP, guys. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> you need that in, the, in this day of COVID.